Hello everybody, this is Ronnie with another tutorial today. Um, I'm very happy because we uh, almost got to 100 comments on uh, our latest post in the Facebook group uh, with a simple question, where do you live? So all of you guys uh, answered massively to this post. I think the post um, caught your attention and it was nice. It was nice to see where you're from. And so I decided, okay, let's, let's use this data and let's do something in Canva uh, to present this information that we received and, and see some kind of statistics about where you guys come from. So, okay, let's do this. Um, the idea is to create some kind of infographics because infographics are something very popu popular nowadays. A lot of companies use them uh, and they are a simple way to present information in a visual way. Sometimes it's complex information. In our case, not that complex. It's just a bunch of uh, um, statistics about where people do live, where do people come from. But um, um, infographics can be more complex. We are going to create a simple one, but yet you will get the idea and you will, you will see what kind of workflow are we using to create an infographics. All right. So uh, let's do this from scratch. Um, actually not from scratch, but using a template of an infographics. But I want to show you the whole process, the whole creative process going from uh, a bunch of data. Uh, so the people here, I created this um, simple data entry where I copied the name of the countries with the number of people because we are going to need this information for creating our charts, our our pies, our bars, whatever type of graphs we are going to use. We are going to use this data. So that's the first thing you need data. And the second thing uh, you will need some kind of uh, visual layout. So let's start in Canvas template library. So for those of you who don't remember canva.com slash templates. Okay. Once we are here, we are going to search for infographics. There we go. So now we have a bunch of infographic templates and we're just going to find something relevant. I would like to present, I think, two to three different uh, representation of that data. So something like this would be interesting, but I don't see the point of using this kind of battery type of icon. So keep looking. Something like this could be interesting as well. Um, Actually, this sounds and looks more like what I'm looking for. I really don't like the red color and these um, um, the, the color combination, but that's fine because I can change this later. So let's go ahead and use this template. OK, use this template. And now Canva has given me the layout. All right. Uh, it's an infographic type of post, so it's pretty narrow and long. Uh, so in order to see it correctly, you can just zoom in. All right. So this is our base. Now we need to change this um, chart right here. And when you click on it, you will observe one thing. OK, when you click on it, there's another button, maybe a button you've never seen in Canva before. It says data. When you click on this, then you have two rows with your labels and then the values. So what we are going to do is input some of the data we've collected here from the post and just uh, use these columns to in input our data. So uh, obviously we are not going to input all of these um, countries. That would take us a long time. What we could do is just select the top, um, the top five countries or even we could group the countries by continent, right? So I've done this on a different sheet of paper. So there will be uh, Europe, South America, North America, Oceania, um, Asia and Africa, right? So I have done that. So we will input first the uh, continent where people come from. So let's go ahead and do this. So I'll take my first uh, chart right here, click on data and just change these data for what I have collected here. So first is Europe and the number is eight. Then I have Oceania, the number, so Oceania is uh, New Zealand and Australia, the number is 10. Then I have Africa and we have eight people who live in Africa. Then South America, we have three. 
North America, we, North America, we had 18, and last but not least, Asia, which is the most, uh, where most people live, 39. Right, so now we have our chart. It looks pretty good. One more thing we need to do uh, before going any further with uh, this visual, we need to design, uh, decide sorry, on a visual identity, on a color palette for our, our whole visual. So I like to start my designs by doing a little bit of color research. So we can do this again with Canva. Let's go ahead and do this. And this time we will uh, type in uh, canva.com slash colors. That's another resource Canva uh, puts at our disposal to find interesting colors. And if you don't want to select a specific color, you can explore color combinations. That's what we are going to be using. And Canva now uh, suggests a bunch of different color palettes. And this is a great place to start looking for uh, inspiration for your designs, right? So let's find a color palette that we like. I would like something that would go well with the group color. I kind of like this one. I'll go ahead and use this one. We don't need to spend like half an hour deciding on our color palette. I usually go with intuition. This is pretty nice. I've been creating a lot of kind of purple tone visuals in the group. So I'll go ahead and use this. So how do you use this? You can just copy the colors here. So in this case, I think when it comes to chart, Canva will give you one shot, like you can change one color and then it will select the other colors for yourself, for like for, for you. For, so so if, you, if I select one of these colors, I should select the most representative. So I'll go ahead and use maybe this one. I will input it here. So here to show you where I, where I am, I clicked on the chart and then there is style. Okay, so style, you can decide the type of charts, let me show you. Yes, the type of chart you are using, you could use like a bar, uh, you could use a pie like we had before, or you could use like a donut, whatever. You know, you have different kind of charts uh, available. I'll go back to the chart, to the pie chart. And in terms of colors, I will copy here the color from our color palette and you will see that canva will adjust the other colors you don't really choose them uh, it's created automatically and you cannot change these i believe okay so now it looks even uglier with the red background so let's go ahead and change this straight away let's use the dark background here just let me make sure of one thing yes nothing is dark in terms of uh, fonts right now so it won't create a big issue on my design okay so i changed this red for my new color from the color palette all right already looks much better okay so uh this text right here it's a little bit too close to my chart i can move this not too close to the edge because i don't want um let me just make this smaller and I don't even know if I will need this text right here. Uh, right now, I'm just um, inputting my, uh, my data and see what comes up next. Okay, so it would be nice to have one main title about what this infographic is all about. All right, so this is where people live. Where people live. Okay, I can see here the P and the L because the letter spacing, the, the height between the line height, sorry, is very reduced in this design, then uh, I have this problem with the L and the P. All right, so what I could do maybe is to have the first letter, a capital letter where people live. Yeah, that's better. And the source, don't really need this right now because it comes from our Facebook group. Learn to design with Canva. Okay. I can do 
this. Of course, I don't want this yellow color. This is part of the old design. I will change this for one of my colors here. Um, I could go with this one, for instance. Let's try. Okay. So you see, it's very convenient to. Oh no, it's not good enough. It's not bright enough. I need something much more, much brighter. There. Okay, this is better. You can see how it's pretty convenient to work with um, canvas color palettes or suggested color palettes because it can you can copy the hex code very conveniently. Just click on it and it just will copy your your uh, your color, which is very very interesting and very useful for this type of application. Okay, so here uh, this is by continent by continents okay where people live all right by continents asia is the winner okay what else can we do change this we don't really need this by continents we could type in the continents and then North America South America oops sorry America and we have one more which is Asia okay let's just center this a little bit better okay so now we have our first part of the visual. We can make this smaller, see how it looks. Looks pretty good. Uh, one more thing we could do is to have like the most, mm, the, 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 most uh, the country where most people come from, which is the Philippines. So I think we should acknowledge this. We will use this. And most people come from okay, and make this bigger again and we will use the the same color most people come from the Philippines okay we can drop this here and let's just make sure we align everything so that's convenient to work with the smaller scale you see this block of text should be aligned with this one there that's what's great also about canva it helps you align everything okay so maybe we have a filipino flag here philippines let's see what comes up yes this is pretty interesting Let's see if we can use this. Oops. This is interesting. Yep. All right, now it's a little bit empty here uh, where people live. Source, okay. All right, so this is pretty good. Yes, I could have the number of people who actually come from the Philippines. In our case, it's 28. So let's have 28 here in this font. For example, I will copy this and just bring this here and make this interesting in some way. So 28. Or oh, you know what? I'm going to show you something else. Um, two. If you type in the number two in Canva, see these uh, placeholder letters. So we will use this and see if we can create something more interesting. This, so two, and we need the number eight as well. So these are placeholders. That means uh, you will be able to drop a photo inside of these letters. 
And actually, let me do that again. I want to show you something. Um, let's import the eight. Let's not move it for now. Let's find the two. Boom. You just import both of them and then you will select them. Deselect everything else around it because the idea is to have only your, your two um, numbers here. You can move them. But what I want to show you is that if you import them and don't resize them one by one, then you, then you select them all and you resize them at the same time. So you are making sure that these two numbers will be exactly the same size. Okay, so that's a little trick. I need to move it like this. It's a little trick to make sure your two numbers will have exactly the same size. Okay, so now we have 28 um, and most people come from the Philippines. Okay. Good, so we just need to drop a visual into these two numbers, which is pretty cool. I could try to drop a Filipino back, uh, a Filipino flag into this. Let's see, Philippines. Or I could go for the color of my visual. Let's see if this works. Might not work. No, I'm not able to drop it inside. So I'll go for a gradient. Now you find a gradient in these colors. Maybe something like this that would go well with our color palette. So I will select the first letter, grab my background, my uh, gradient, sorry, drop it in the number. I will do the same for the other number there. And now I can adjust by double clicking on the letter. I will start kind of in the middle for the two. And then I will go more in that same direction, but even further. So the, the gradient kind of translate into my letters, something like this. And then what I can do is to duplicate each of these letters. Okay, select them both, change their color. Again, doing the same thing with another color of gradient. Okay, now I'll select them. I will adjust their position with the arrows of my keyboard, something like this, and I will push them back. I will group it first, and then I will arrange it by pushing it back like this. And you see it created some kind of a shadow behind uh, the actual 28. All right, this looks pretty good. This is our infographics. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. Uh, what's important about this tutorial is you can start your design by selecting a color palette, find a template that you like, that uh, inspires you, that you think you can transform for your own purpose, for your own content, then tweak it. And uh, also what's important in this design is the use of the charts. So if you don't know where to start, you can just simply go to elements and then there is charts right here. You can click here and choose the type of charts, input your data and customize the color with the style, the button right here. Okay, I hope you guys like this tutorial. I hope you will create some nice design. Don't hesitate to uh, post the infographics or the charts you will be creating maybe after watching this tutorial just post them in the comment section of this video so we can all see them and see uh, what you're up to. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.